Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and this is coming out a little sooner than I would have expected here, but this here is the first Switch 2 tutorial, I suppose, I'm showing here on the channel. And this here is a little bit of a niche or a little bit of a odd tutorial, but I'm going to be showing you all, if you have a Switch 2 or if you will be getting one, how you can activate the micro SD card express port on it without having to get a micro SD card express card itself. And there's a little bit of an explanation for that. You see, despite there being a micro SD card port on the Switch 2 itself, the Switch 2 ends up using micro SD card express, meaning that if you have an old micro SD XC or some really nice micro SD card from your original Switch, you can really only use it on the Switch 2 for screenshots and photos if you're importing those from your original Switch, but you cannot use them to actually play play or install games or really anything else on there. With micro SD Express also being a newer technology, it is going to cost more and it is a little bit difficult depending on where you're at to get a micro SD Express card right now. Not only due to the newness of the standard, but also of course the demand for it. However, one of the downsides to micro SD Express is that in order to activate it due to the licensing needed, you must be connected to the internet and there is a small update that you need to obtain when you first insert one of these cards and after that your switch should be fine now this is similar to the original switch with the xfat driver on there but this one here is not dependent on the file format although that does come into play this one is just for using micro sd express itself however this is all to say if you're wanting to do something such as getting your switch to getting it set up for your liking and then taking it offline to prepare for later homebrew usage if that is possible, we don't know yet, but if that is possible and you want to stay on a low firmware, you're probably going to need to do something with the micro SD card slot on there and you're going to need to activate it. So it would be optimal to activate this as early as possible so you have that functionality and you can still stay on a low firmware. Now the nice thing is there's been a trick that was discovered that allows us to grab this update and unlock this functionality here without doing any type of modifications, without doing any other special wild tricks. We really just need to have a micro SD card and a way of formatting it. And yes, I said that correctly, a micro SD card, it does not need to be a express card. So even if you just want to not this update out now or whether you're wanting to keep your system offline this should work for you here and you only need to do this one time so in order to get started you're of course going to need your switch to online and working you're also going to need to get a micro SD card and you're going to need a way of getting that formatted I'm personally going to be using a USB adapter and I'm going to be using my computer now once you plug your micro SD card in really all you need to do is check the properties and make sure the file system is set to XFAT that is the only pre requisite you need right here. It cannot be FAT32, it cannot be NTFS, it can't be anything else. It must be set to XFAT. If you have to format it, make sure you back up any data that you care about. I'll check this here and really all I have is my Nintendo folder with a screenshot on here. But once you have this backed up, all you need to do is right click, format, again make sure your file system is set to XFAT, allocation size can be default, volume label, quick format, that's fine, then you can click start. Keep in mind, yet again, this is going to destroy any data on the card, so back up anything that you care about. Once that's set up, hit OK, it's formatted, there we go. We can now right click this, eject it, and now we're going to pop it into the back of our Switch 2. Back over the Switch 2, go ahead and turn off power to it, and once it's been turned off, you're going to flip it upside down, lift up the kickstand, find where the micro SD card slot is, and then insert in your micro SD card. Once it's been inserted, go ahead and turn on your switch. After a few seconds, once it boots up and gets to the main screen here and you unlock it, you're going to have an error message which looks like this. This is expected and this is fine. We can work with this. In order to get out of here, you just have to press the home button on your controller. And then once you're back here, you want to navigate down, go all the way to the system settings option and tap the A button. Now navigate down to data management, go over to the right, scroll down and go to manage screenshots and videos and tap the A button yet again. Now you're going to scroll all the way down yet again and find the option which states import from a Nintendo Switch micro SD card and yet again here, tap the A button. You're going to get this option here and you're going to hit the A button to start. Now it's going to ask you to have the micro SD card ready. We already have it ready so we can hit done. We've already inserted this into the switch but if you get this message just go ahead pop the micro SD card out and pop it back in as it's running. Once you do that you'll get this message here stating to use this micro SD card you need to update the system and this is again where you need to be online. 
Keep in mind, this is not a full firmware update. This is simply a feature update, which is required to unlock this functionality. So tap A on the next option. If it asks you to remove the micro SD card, well, go ahead and remove the micro SD card and then continue on. It should now bring you to the update prompt here. So really all you need to do is update the system. You can tap A, it's going to check for system updates. Let's go ahead, update the system, hit OK. Wait a few seconds. And here we go. Once it's updated, the system will automatically restart. And here we go. Once it restarts, we can go ahead, reconnect our controllers, get back in here, and let's try to insert that micro SD card again. If you insert that same micro SD card, you're still going to get this message. So you can just press the home button on your controller, but yet again, go down to system settings, check out data management, go all the way down to manage screenshots and videos, import, hit start. And you can see here that since this is a completely formatted micro SD card, it now gives us a different message stating that there's no importable data on here and to remove it. But the nice thing is, like I said, that was enough to trigger the update and we now have the functionality to not only utilize the XFAT file system, but we can also use micro SD express. So since there's nothing on here and I've already performed the update, I'm now going to remove the micro SD card for the last time. Since I've removed it and there's nothing to import here, I'm going to go ahead and cancel. The system is going to restart and that's really all we need to do. So there we go, using a old micro SD card you might have lying around and a few moments of our time, we were able to get this activated. There's not all too much to show on here, but the nice thing is this has been confirmed. At this point, if you go out and get a micro SD express card and pop it in, it should work just fine on your switch as long as it's formatted properly, but we no longer have to go and pull a compatibility update for it. So that's all you really need to do. If you want to get the jump ahead on this before you purchase your card, you're now all set up. Additionally, if you now want to take your system offline, like run in airplane mode, for example, and keep it there until maybe you can have some fun with a low firmware, you're also welcome to do that as well too. But either way, that's how you can enable micro SD express functionality on your switch without having to purchase a micro SD express card, at least at this point in time. That is about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.